This question says expand and simplify. So expand means get rid of the brackets and simplify means collect the like terms afterwards. We've got a plus 2 here multiplied by a plus 6. So to do that, we've got to multiply both of the terms in the first bracket by both of the terms in the second bracket. So a multiplied by a first and a times a is a squared. Then I've got a multiplied by 6. a multiplied by 6 is 6a. Then the second term by both the terms in the second bracket as well. So 2 times a, that's 2a. And 2 times 6, that's 12. That's expanded now, so now we can simplify. The terms we can add up are the two terms in the middle, 6a and 2a. We can't add a squared to a's, and we can't add 12, the number by itself, to a's either. So we can just add up these two, and 6a plus 2a, that's 8a. So we've got a squared plus 8a plus 12. That's the final answer. So here we've got another expand and simplify question. The only difference is we've got a negative in the second bracket. So we're going to follow the same process as before. We're going to multiply both of the terms in the first bracket by both of the terms in the second bracket. So we'll start with a times a, which is a squared. Then I've got a times the negative, a times minus 4, that's minus 4a. I've got 8 times a, that's 8 a, and I've got a positive times a negative, that's going to give me a negative answer, and 8 times 4, that's 32. Then I can simplify, I can add up the two a terms, I've got minus 4 plus 8, minus 4 up 8, that's plus 4. And that's the final answer. Okay, so this time we've got two negatives. It's going to be the same process that we multiply both the terms in the first bracket by both the terms in the second bracket. So we've got a times a, that's a squared. a times minus 3, minus 3a. Minus 5 times a, minus 5a. And I've got minus 5 times minus 3. So a negative times a negative, that's a positive. And 5 times 3, 15. Then again, simplify. So minus 3, minus 5, that's minus 8. And that's the final answer. Okay, this time we've got a number in front of um, one of the A terms. Again, same process. Multiply both the terms in this bracket by both the terms in this bracket. So 2A times A, that's 2A squared. 2a times 5, that's 10a. 1 times a, that's just a. And 1 times 5, that's 5. So simplify, 10a plus 1a, that's 11a. That's the final answer. Okay, so this is written in a different way. What we've got here is a plus 5 squared. So you need to know that squared means multiplied by itself. And a plus 5 multiplied by a plus 5 can also be written like that. So we're following the same process. a times a, a squared. a times 5, 5a. 5 times a, 5a. And 5 times 5, 25. We can simplify by adding 5a to 5a, and that's 10a. Okay, here's some questions for you to try. Pause the video, give them a go, and then I'll put the answers up afterwards. Okay, so the first one. When we expand, a times a is a squared. a times 2 is 2a. 8 times a, that's 8a, and 8 times 2 is 16. Then simplify in 2a plus 8a, that gives us 10a. 
So we've got a squared plus 10a plus 16 for our final answer. Here we've got b times b, that's b squared. b times minus 11, minus 11b. Minus 3 times b, minus 3b. And a minus times a minus, negative times a negative is a positive, And 3 elevens are 33. Simplify in, minus 11, minus 3, that's minus 14. So that's the final answer. C times C is C squared. C times 10 is 10C. Minus 4C, minus 4 times C is minus 4C. And minus 4 times positive 10 is minus 40. 10C minus 4C is 6C. So the final answer, C squared plus 6C minus 40. So here we've got 2D multiplied by 3D. That's 6D squared. 2D times 4 is 8D. 1 times 3D is 3D. And 1 times 4 is 4. Simplify in, we've got 8D plus 3D, which is 11D. So I've got 6D squared plus 11D plus 4. And finally, we've got E minus 7 squared. So that's E minus 7 multiplied by E minus 7. So that's E times E, which is E squared. E squared. E times minus 7, that's minus 7E. Minus 7 times E, which is minus 7E again. And minus 7 times minus 7, negative times a negative makes a positive. So that's positive, 7 7s are 49. Then simplify in, we've got minus 7E minus another 7E, which is minus 14E. So that's E squared minus 14E plus 49.